Hello, I'm Shane Acker, the creator of the animated short Nine. Nine is a story of this emerging civilization, this new creative, this new life form is rising up in the aftermath and uh, the ruin of our world. Uh, it's post-apocalyptic and it's post-human. And we follow along with these little uh, scavenger-like ragdoll creatures made out of bits and pieces of this ruined earth um, as they're making their way and evolving. And they're being hunted by this mechanical creature that's bent on stealing their souls. The title nine comes from this idea that, like on a scale from one to 10, if 10 is perfection, uh, nine being human, nine is as close as we can ever achieve because uh, we're always flawed, all of us. And so nine represents in this kind of evolutionary tract of these ragdolls, the latest to come along, it's like version nine. These CG films are kind of strange um, because it's almost like you're inverting the process of live action. Um, because you're doing an animatic, you're figuring out the footage that you need and then you make the footage rather than going and shooting a bunch of footage and then spending a lot of time editing, cutting it down into what the film is. So from the based on the animatic, once you figured out what the camera and the characters are doing, you start to build all the, all the, all the assets, the, the creatures, the sets, um, all the characters rigging, putting a virtual skeleton in them so you can pose them and get the animation performance that you want. So you have a really long pre-production phase before you can actually start to create footage. You know, it's this ruined earth, and I, I really wanted to get a, a kind of gritty texture to the film. A lot of animated films tend to be really clean and bright and well lit, um, you know, this kind of warm and fuzzy feel, and I wanted to go the opposite direction. I thought that by making this really kind of dark, oppressive environment, and then you have these kinds of soft ragdoll creatures that you really start to empathize more with them. You really want them to succeed in this, you know, barren landscape that they live in. And then I knew that I wanted to use light to really help sculpt uh, the shape and, uh, and to, to sculpt the space inside the film. So I wasn't afraid to go completely black with things and let silhouettes help describe something that might be there but not tell it exactly and let the audience participate in sort of filling in those voids. In the film uh, 9, he carries with him a light staff and that becomes a motivated light source for a lot of the film. For me, I try to put a lot of metaphor into the short so you can read the film on many different levels. And for me, the light staff represents him seeing into the darkness, him being able to see clearly where the other ragdolls couldn't. And so that becomes, instead of a, him carrying a weapon, he carries this torch that allows him to go further than they did before. I wanted to feel like a real world. I wanted to be tactile. Um, I really wanted the audience to believe that this place exists. I take bits and pieces of objects and pieces of art that have existed all through time and I've collapsed it all into this little world. And I find that if you provide that texture and that level of detail, it just makes that world that much more believable. Because you're in CG and the cameras have no weight and you can do whatever you want with the cameras, um, you run the risk of it feeling very false, falling outside the language of cinema that we all know. So I took a lot of care to make sure that the cameras felt like they had weight, like there was a camera operator that was really operating, so he was a little bit behind the action all the time. I have seen it projected in HD, and it's, it's pretty amazing. It really does feel like a window into a world. Um, and it's great because I spent so much time, you know, really obsessing over all these details and all the textures, and they gotta be right. And, you know, then if you do it in a small resolution, all that stuff falls away, and you're like, oh, wow, yeah, maybe I didn't have to spend that time doing that. But seeing in HD, you really see all that detail, and you can really spend the time to really, uh, to really enjoy all that. And a lot of people really, they, they say that the second time that they've seen the short, they, they see so much more and they understand so much more because I've layered so much into it. And I think that you know, HD showing and revealing all that allows you to kind of get a different viewing and a different uh, interpretation every time you see the film.